Now the first rule you're breaking probably right now because on weekends, you probably get mucked. <laughs> probably go out, you drink, smoke, relapse on habits that you're probably trying to quit. And you don't understand the flaw or the reason why that's important. I heard this phrase in a movie and it's, it's phenomenal and it's gonna help you out. Champagne is for the podium. And here's what I mean by that. Over the past two years, I have probably drank less than, I would say 12 times. And the reason being is when you start in this game, in entrepreneurship and getting to 10K a month, getting to 20K a month, whatever it is, you start to realize that you really only wanna to drink to the winds. And you know for a fact, when you're drinking, when you're going out with your buddies, it doesn't feel good. It feels like you're drinking for the wrong reasons, like you're drinking to forget, not to remember. I felt that exact same way every time I drink for the wrong reasons. So let me, let me help you out with this. You don't have to. Don't force yourself into doing it because your favorite entrepreneur, your favorite influencer, just because they do it, doesn't mean you have to. I don't really like drinking a ton. It's just something that when the people around me do it, I do it too. I don't even like to do it. You know, I just kind of fall into that habit. The second rule, and this is, this is one I know for a fact that you feel, is if you're around the wrong people, you could do all the right things, but you're still in the wrong spot. People that don't see it the same way as you will sandbag it because they'll have these limiting beliefs and it's not their fault. It's not their fault because they don't necessarily know what they're doing. They will tell you that your dreams are crazy, that you're nuts, that it's not going to work, that it's, it's not realistic. And if you have these people in your life, you still love them. They're still your friends, but you need to get around people who see it the same way that you do, who have big aspirations who want more than the status quo. And that's exactly why I have the community that's free. So if you're a good fit, if you see it the same way that we do, you can join. The reason why this phase is so important for you right now is you're probably at the point where you've outgrown your current friends, but you haven't grown enough to meet the new ones. And I've been there, it sucks. And don't feel like you have to buy into what everyone's selling you. And here's what I mean. A lot of people tell you that you have to be the lone wolf, right? You have to do the solo dolo. And if that's what you want, you can do it by all means, but it's not what I did. And it's not what I'd recommend at all. And the reason being is how has it been going? Holding yourself accountable. How many times have you relapsed because of that? Now, if you're around the right people, you're no longer a victim of your environment. You're a product of your environment. That's how you start real change. Because you're changing who you are, your identity, your habits, your goals. You're changing all that right now. Don't you think it makes sense to change who you're around? Or at least create some space there? Probably. And the third rule. And this, this is fundamental. Because I, dude, I have messed up on this so many times. Is the job's not done until it's complete. Plain and simple. You're going to get to a point, I know this for a fact, because if you're still watching, it means you can focus. You're going to get to a point where you get to 10K a month, where you get to 20K a month, and the work's finally going to start working. And because you met your intention, if your goal was 10, 20K a month, whatever it is, you meet that criteria, the work starts to decline. You need to realize you need to shift the goalpost because the job's not done. The job is playing. The job's participating. That's the job. The job isn't getting to a, a metric. That's a goal. The job is to stay in the game for the long run, to continuously level up. If you're looking for this I've arrived moment, I'm going to tell you right now from experience, it's never going to come. Dude, I've had 500 in my bank account. I've had 40 grand in my account. I still felt like it wasn't enough when I had 40K in there even beyond that, Rolex on my wrist, it doesn't feel like it's enough. 
you learn to adapt, you learn to change. Your new normal changes as you change as an individual. I promise you, I guarantee it right now, you will have that feeling at some point, dude. So you need to start falling in love with the job, with the work, and get the dopamine hit that way. I, the reason why I'm consistent, the reason why I make videos every day is because I'm committed to it. I know the results, the growth, all that stuff will come. But they won't come. I won't grow if I don't do the work. I get my dopamine hit from this, from talking to you. That's what gives me my dopamine hit is knowing I just showed up today. I did my job and I got to level up my skills. How can I improve? How can I get better? The job's not done until you die or until you retire out of the game. Plain and simple. You need to be in this for the long game because I'm telling you, dude, there's going to come trials, tribulations, all that stuff along the journey. And you need to keep your head on a swivel. And those two rules prior to this become paramount. And I've been there where you're at right now. The feelings of uncertainty, of doubt. What do I do? Which direction do I go? I get it. Like I said, it's exactly why we have the community. Because learning stuff that you haven't done is extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult. One of the big reasons I attribute my success and the speed I got it, you know, quickly in sales was because I learned from someone who already knew what they were doing. It wasn't just me like blindly trial and error. No, this guy knew what he was doing and he knew the road ahead. He said, look out, there's potholes here. It's downhill here. It's an uphill battle here. That and you not knowing that is costing you whatever your goal is. If your goal is 10K a month, your goal is 20K a month, you're paying that price for what you don't know. That's, that's the harsh truth. So getting around the right people, learning from someone who knows the game a little bit better than you is gonna expedite that whole process. And instead of paying the 10K, the 20K for what you don't know, that money's going to start arriving in your account when you know the way, when you have the runway to get the plane, to get the business off the ground, right? So like I said, the community, it's going to be in the description below for you guys. Stay committed, stay focused and act. Stop pushing it off till tomorrow. I know for a fact during this video, you had an idea and you wanted to push it off till tomorrow. Time waits for no man. So stop waiting for it.